We're going back to Mega Man X. We're not going to be tackling... Ugh. Large Octopus. To be perfectly honest, I don't find Launch Octopus... Launch? 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 <coughs> I don't find Launch Octopus as... God, what is wrong with my speech today? First a shotgun ice joke, and now this. Now I'm just babbling like an idiot. Anyways, I don't find Launch Octopus's uh, stage very entertaining, to say the least. Well, first off, it's another water stage. Second of all, it's got two pain in the ass bo main bosses here. I believe we're coming up on one of them right now. Two. Actually, now that I think about four. If you count the optional one. Four main bosses in a row. Sheesh. I suppose you could say that one octopus is on the uh, defensive side of things. Rather than what most of the other enemies have been. Enemies. And enemies. And enemies? <laughs> and enemies. Well, we are playing to one octopus stage. Usually, because I have infinite health, I can just cheese my way through that. That way. But, um. I think you were supposed to, like, stay on the left as much as you can. There is a way of variation of such a thing with spikes. In between you and the main boss. And I think this is such a variant. Yep, here it is. This, this version of him I usually cheese because I, well, evident health, suck it. I just do not want to deal with an enemy that can push you into spikes and that leads to my death and multiple tries. And I'm practically getting nowhere by doing that too. So rather than giving myself a headache to try and place the audience, I'm just gonna chase my way through this boss and just get done and over with. Besides, it's the same exact thing. Yeah, that's me checking myself. Thanks again. Besides, it's the same exact thing now with spikes, so now there is an actual threat. Anyways, there is an optional third boss here. You gotta use Fire Wave to knock down this boat? Yeah, it's a boat. I was gonna say, is that more like a submarine? I was like, no, that looks nothing like a submarine, even for this time of age. You can knock this boss out in one hit. Both versions of him. If you were to be able to... You'll want to see new X Buster upgrade. Which does that, and let's get our only upgrade here. Well, power up, as I usually call them. Get our usual uh, power up of the heart tank. Of the heart tank. Also, I'm speaking like Starfire here. Ah. Uh. There he is! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it before it goes back into the ground! There you go! Two storm tornadoes can take this guy out. I don't know why I'm collecting help capsules, but all three of my sub tanks are filled. Anyways, here's the boss. A very boring boss, actually. Now that I think about it. I must make sure that I got the rolling shield. Sometimes I confuse the rolling shield with the electric spark. So I want to make sure that I have the rolling shield equipped. Because that is this guy's one true weakness, even though the rolling shield kind of doesn't really do much of anything for it. So I suppose you could say out of the whole bunch, uh, Launch Octopus is the most defensive heavy of them all. Because look at this, even with his weakness, he does take quite a bit of few hits. He does take quite a few hits. Hmm. That makes me wonder about that. 
Uh, I was thinking about Super Smash Bros. Uh, for the 3DS. <laughs> as far as what I've seen, I'm not exactly right about this. And you know what I forget? Oh, uh, one trying to put us dead. Sorry, my mind is kind of off with this boss. Again, I don't really like um, one shot the post very much. Quite a boring type of thing. Anyways, after defeating one shot the post, we get the oh my favorite best spelling of all time: homing torpedo. It's supposed to be homing torpedo. Later iterations they fix that, but <laughs> to be honest, it is the best. Best spelling for a weapon ever. Now with the Horming Torpedo in our possession, we now go after Boomer Coolwinger. 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 That's a fun name to say. Coolwinger. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, with this music and the... With this music and the, uh... And the name, it kind of makes me think it's more of like a, uh, a wrestling name. <laughs> and in the left lane! Oh god, that hurts my voice a lot! Ooh, ow! <coughs> Probably should be drinking water after I drink that Coca-Cola. Anyways... And they left with. <laughs> Come on, Kevin Tanner, speak up, speak naturally. Oh, now we get these assholes. They all talk at you. <laughs> I think they do like uh, two bars of health. Just why am I out the image? Uh, now we gotta deal with these total jerks. Total jerks. Total jerks. Total jerks. I am just all over the place with the English language, am I? <laughs> I am just butchering the English language. <laughs> the seven pieces of pepperoni and mozzarella just shrank it all away. <laughs> It's amazing. Oh, you might want to be careful here, actually. Not only those are instant death spikes, but those things can actually crush you if you whack them. Oh! Now you almost got crushed in here. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about bumping my mic there. Oh, now we got this pain in the ass gimmick, this vertical climb. With enemies on it? Yeah, it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Just keep on climbing up these ladders. Actually, now that I think about it, there is a hot tank in this stage. And I believe we can get it. It's just that it's going to be a little bit on the tricky side, because why did they put that there besides to be a troll? Eh, I guess that was the program was being a troll. Anyways, uh, we can't get it because we have the necessary equipment to do so. It requires the shotgun ice, and what was it, the alluage, I guess. And the uh, X Buster upgrade from Flame Mammoth Stick! God damn it! Ow! This is the part that I usually have trouble with. Come on, X, walk with me, please! Ow! No, you cannot force your way because of the knockback. There we go! Okay, I think it's spooked sailing from here. Yep, 
Yeah, here we go. There's the heart tank. What you need to do is that you need to charge up the shotgun eyes. Why am I still on... Oh, because of the enemy. When you do that, it forms a little platform, and what you need to do is that you need to NOT do that! Jump onto the platform, or just magically appear on top of it, like that. And then at the last second, you need to jump, dash jump, right off, and grab it. The unfortunate thing is that it's kind of tricky. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. And jump! There we go! Yay! Now I hope one is exactly the same as, um... As the, uh, weapon energy board. I believe there is a total of eight heart tanks, the same amount, so it's like one heart tank per level? Let's see... Chill Penguin has one, Fortune Penguin has one, Boomer Kawanga has one. Uh, let's see. Bunch Octopus have one. Storm Eagle has one. Armored Armadillo has one. And Sting Chameleon has one. But I'm carrying a total of seven here. Who am I missing? Spark Mandrill. Okay, come on, X! This ain't a hard jump to do! Jesus Christ. Ugh, oh, I'm telling you, this is actually the worst run I've had. I'm not usually particularly bad at this. I don't know, maybe... Did I record this while up in the mountains? I had a particular time limit up in the mountains. Uh... Perhaps I did record this at that time. Jump and fire! There you go. Yeah, I was gonna say, you might as well take the hit. Here we go! Here is Boomer Kawanga's stage. Again, the only way to defeat his weakness... So, the only way to defeat... There are two ways to defeat him. Is of course the X Buster and whatever you have at your disposal. But the main weakness is actually the forming torpedo. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on calling it, even though it's misspelled. It's because it's funny. Boomer Kawanga has this invis invisibility. Invisibility. Uh, device installed into him. He does have a tendency to appear right in front of you, grab you, and then practically suplex you. Actually, I believe in my current state, I can actually take damage from that. He also likes to use the boomerang cutter, I believe that's what it's called. No, that's called the rolling cutter. Boomerang cutter, boomerang cutter, boomerang cutter, yes! I was thinking of the make him run, make him bet the dude. Come on, Sarah, enough butchering the English language here. Language. Ugh, for heaven's sake, sing it in part five! Ugh.